Rule number nine, always carry a knife. What's the practical use for this if you're a technician at an injection molding plant? Well, you can see here, based on the green LED, that the servos for this machine are activated. Now, there are several different safeties all over the machine that will prevent the servos from coming on or shut them off in the event that the machine thinks somebody's going to get hurt or the machine could suffer catastrophic damage. It's going to be very expensive. So let's walk around to the other side of the machine. So over here you can see one of the proximity sensors is lit. It's got a green LED. There's another proximity sensor down here. But sometimes these things are green, sometimes they're amber, sometimes they're supposed to be lit when the condition is good, and sometimes they're supposed to be lit when the condition is bad. So, simply take your knife blade and you put it in there to simulate a piece of metal being in front of it. Right now, there's nothing in front of it, so we've got to give it something here that's going to pick up. I can just get it to stay in place. There we go. And now you can see we've got a green LED that's picking up the metal of the knife blade. Now let's go around to the other side of the machine. And you can see the servo is off and it will not come on. Now let's go back. All right, let's pull the knife out. You see the green LED went off. Now let's go back to the control panel. All right, there's our servo button and see the green LED came on when I pressed it. So having something as simple as a pocket knife can be used as a diagnostic tool or in order to override something, in order to get the machine past a certain point so then you can clear it and get it to function. Rule number nine, always carry a knife. Thanks for watching.